Yo, 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 what's up guys? SK here. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay. It's just a 74 and 6 with the SMR. Continue with the 70 plus 2 every gun. Now we see run to the SMR. Hope you enjoy this. And what we're talking about today is, well, as you saw then for that little intro video, there was, there was a little patch there for Black Ops 2. And, you know, I don't, I don't even know what that was for. I think it was just for a gun or something like that. But, to be honest, oh gosh, they're just not listening. And to be honest, that doesn't even matter, to be honest, because when you think about it, they're just patching the wrong things. I mean, honestly, when we actually consider, when we've watched the videos, we've seen what they've changed. Some of them, one or two things, eh... Yeah, it'll do for now, I suppose. But you know, they're just way off the mark. They're just not patching the right things. They are just mainly 99.9% .9 patching the wrong things. I mean, when you think about it, they've patched the guns. Now that does not make any sense at all. I mean, I've said it. I know many people have said it. You should patch the NMGs because they are so powerful. In what sense does does it make making that well? When you kind of think about it, in real life, yes, but this is not real life, this is a game. And the LMGs have never, ever, 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 ever been the most powerfulest thing ever. I mean, they had gun balance in from, well, they had gun balance from COD 4 to MW3. I mean, ugh, COD 4 to Modern Warfare 2, because obviously they had stopping power, so every gun was, you know, Powerful, balanced out. You could use any gun. You weren't really bothered because you had, as long as you had stopping power on, it's as powerful as any other gun that you know you come up against. It's just who aims first. Well, I wouldn't really say that, but them games were pretty good and well balanced, so I don't really think it was any a prob. There was no problem with that. Like I said, the guns were balanced, but Black Ops 2. Well, everyone was saying that. To be honest, I, to be honest, I think there was a good gun balance. I know. There was overused guns, but I think they were still pretty much balanced out. You know, I, everyone was using the famas. I was using the famas, but to be honest, you know, I to be honest, I don't know why people complain about the famas. To be honest, I don't. It doesn't. It, it's not really overpowered when you think about it. When you use it, it doesn't really feel overpowered. I mean, to be honest, AK forty seven in that game was an absolute beast, and that was way powerful than the famas. I mean, the famas just has kick. But if you can control that kick, I guess it was pretty good. I'm not really sure, but in Modern Warfare 3, well, it lasted for a while. It lasted for a while. You know, different guns, you were using the mods of every gun, and then all of a sudden you find the laser beam, the ACR, and then, you know, it just goes downhill from there. Everyone's using that gun, and then, bleh. But Black Ops 2 was going to be a success was going to be a success I'm not gonna lie it has failed now because of to be honest because of the patches there was a huge gun balance every gun was actually balanced out there was there was overused guns but there was there was not overpowered guns because every everyone was actually using it you actually look on there it's been 100 plus with many guns and now they've patched the PDW They've patched the MSMC, they've buffed the LMGs, they've nerfed their file, they've buffed the SMR. Now they've just done all these different gun patches, making the guns go up and down in rank and who would use them and whatnot. It's just not balanced anymore and it's just gone absolutely rubbish. Here's one thing, right? If you if you want if Treyarch, if you want to do something right, patch the head glitches take all the head glitches out of the game and somebody seriously they need to really do something about the trees I mean come on I remember in my previous video how we all do on card you've got to really do something about the trees I mean I won't really mind making them destructible as long as it doesn't take me off my streaks you've got to do something about the trees because that is just absolutely fake I mean you got the time period right the guns are well you know we're balanced the the campaign was sick as flip you know the, everything was in its time but if there's one thing that they've done i did not know that trees 
hostiles have been erased. Good We're indestructible in the future. In 2025, are trees indestructible? I didn't know that. But anyways, is, um, let me know your thoughts on these patches and what, how it's impacted the game. And I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay again. This is SK and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.